Free your mind now. Be part of People's Pan-African Parliament, the Pan-African Pyramid Debate with your speaker, Andrew Irumba Katusa. Dear comrades, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andrew Irumba Katusa, your speaker, and this is the Pan-African Pyramid show, the Free Your Mind lecture uh, uh, session. And I am hosting Dr. Abdallah Adam from United States of America, 25 years living in the United States of America, but he's a native of Sudan. So, Dr. Abdallah, you're welcome. Well, thank you. Uh, number one, let me uh, express my thanks and gratitude for you hey. for inviting me here. <laughs> thank you for coming. And also, let me. This, this is your home. Thank you. Yes. And then also, let me uh, greet your audience. I know that you have a large audience here in Kampala. Mm. And also, if you may allow me to express how amused I was since I've been to the airport in Kampala and the hospitality, even if I was uh, born and raised in Africa, I did not know how beautiful and uh, the land and the people, how, yeah. they are, how beautiful they are. So um, the Uber guy took me to a hotel, a local hotel, mm. which was greeted so well. And then uh, next day, he took me to uh, my brother. He lived in uh, one of the suburbs here. It's called Seta. Seta. Um, Seta. Hey, I know Seta. Seta. Road. Ginger, okay, so Ginger you, road. Yes. That's your way and to then uh, so he sent me location and I'm using my uh, phone in America. Mm. I get lost. Yeah. Uh, so I called my brother said, look, I'm here. The, 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 the Google map said, well, we're here, but we couldn't find your house. And he said, where you are? And we couldn't, I couldn't describe where I was. <laughs> he told me, okay, just go to any, uh, any neighbor, any, any, bar, any door and knock it. Mm. The guy, somebody will come out to you. I said, do you know them? He said, no, I don't. Mm. See, Man, what if somebody shot me? So, well, you are in Africa, nobody will shoot you. This, uh, you are in Uganda. This, okay, so that would amuse me. I knocked the door. I said, the guy, I said, okay, let me talk to him. He talked to him. Do you know him before? He said, no, I don't. Let me just talk to him. He talked to him. And I said, well, the guy said, okay, I'll take a ride with you. I'll take you to where your uh, relatives place. So, so, where were you having a mindset of you being shot if you knocked at somebody's door? Well, I mean, even if my friend, when I told him, okay, goodbye, I'm going to, to Kampala, um, well, I started to describe, hey, well, this is a pearl Africa, the pearl of Africa, which I may make it my home for retirement. He said, me, be careful, don't even go at night to Kampala because you'll probably be in a life. That wow. means uh, it was, he thinks he was, this, the place is so dangerous, just like people impression about Africa, they are scary people, mm. which I found exactly the contrast different. You totally a, the, the, it's a complete it's, uh, uh, opposite of what it's completely opposite of, of what they've been telling you in America. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, which part of Africa do you come from, Doctor? Uh, uh, you know, I was born and raised in Sudan, in North Sudan. Now, when I left it, it was uh, one Sudan. One Sudan. So when you say North Sudan, you mean the main Sudan and then South Sudan. So yes. you live in Sudan. I live in Sudan. The one of Al Bashir. Uh, uh, yes, Komal. I, I will formerly Al Bashir. Yes. Yes. Khartoum. Mm -hmm. I'm from West uh, Sudan, mm. uh, Kordofan region, it's called mm. Kordofan province. Mm. Yes, that's where I'm from. So, 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 right now, you you are you are born from Sudan, but you've been in America. Yes. For how long? I have left my home country in 1999. Now it's about 25 years that I've been in the U.S. 25 years yes. in America. Yes, sir. Ah, so you've come. To Africa after 25 years, can we say? Uh, I have come for visits, but I've never stayed for more than two months or a month mm. in, 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 in Africa, but this mm. time. So tell me, um, I, I'm told you're a pharmacist by profession. L let's, let's talk about that. Well, I am a pharmacist by uh, profession. I graduated from the University of Khartoum and established my uh, free independent pharmacy in Khartoum. Mm. But things were not favorable because of the Al-Bashir era, you mm. know that. Mm. So I decided to leave uh, Sudan, Sudan, mm. and I uh, settled in, in United States of America. Mm. I worked with a pharmaceutical company, mm. and I decided to be an independent pharmacy owner. Mm. And in, so I did it, mm. and I was uh, very successful. Thank you, God. I uh, I was uh, one of the uh, State of Florida business commissioner award winners. I was the first small business to win that award. Mm. And I was recognized nationally in a big show called RBC in a retail business uh, conference, 2016. Mm. Yes. So in this pharmacist world, mm. what exactly do you deal with? Uh, 
what has been your point of interest? Like you say, I am I'm an African mm. and a pharmacist, mm. but this is where I want to spend my energies. Well, okay, well, now we're talking about what my passion is because from what I learned, we we'll deal about medicine, right? Yeah. And medicine, as everybody knows, is naturally either made from plant or animals. Now, recently, it becomes chemical intensified or chemically made. Mm. But the most important part was the plant or the animal made medicine, right? So when I found out Africa used to be one of the biggest place to produce medicine. Africa was the center. The center. Africa was the headquarter of medicinal plants. Uh, medicinal plants, yes. herbal products. Yes. Medicinal plant and herbal products. Yes. And now, uh, medicinal plant and herbal product has come to the front of every health conscious person that because of the knowledge, because of education that people now acquire, and yeah. it's easy to acquire knowledge, people find out, well, nature or whatever come from natural things mm. is the best for our health, is the best for our uh, treating disease, mm. from high blood pressure mm. to depression to even back pain. Treating back pain, high blood pressure using nature. Absolutely. From everything, I said, up from headache up to the uh, back pain. From head up to the toe. Ah, yes, up to do even mental issues, depression. Hey. Yes. So you can treat a person using nature. Absolutely. From the head up to the toe. Absolutely. And that market for herbal product, which is medicinal plant, has evolved. If you just did some research about the size of medicinal plant market mm. in the world, mm. as of 2022, mm. it was $153 billion with a B. Mm. And it is growing by 10.6% every year. Mm. So it is projected by just 2028, which is about which five years, I mean, three years from today, mm. to be, uh, the market is to be 228 mm. billion American dollars, with a B. You actually see the global hub of medicine market size was valued at US dollar, 201.06 billion yes. in 2022. See, yeah, that's and it's projected to grow from US dollar 216.40 yes. billion yes. in 2023. Okay to 371.45 billion uh, by 2030. Absolutely. So this means that going forward, mm. the future yes. for, 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 for medicine mm -hmm. is the, medicinal. The medicinal, the herbal product. Medicinal world. Yes, the medicinal world, because people now have become very health cautious. They wanted to use whatever it is natural with very minimal side effects. And it used to be the main thing uh, human use billions of years ago. Actually, that's where I was going. Because mm. Dr. Abdullah, yes. Africans here, our ancestors, yes. there were no hospitals, of course, these, uh, uh, the, 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 the former hospitals, they were not there. But they were able to treat themselves. Because remember, most of them lived in forests. Yes. Yes, they lived in forests with snakes, with animals, with everything. Absolutely. And they were able to treat themselves. Women were able to give birth using traditional, uh, call them nurses. Yes. Eh? Yes. So <clears throat> the white man came, mm -hmm. captured that information, mm -hmm. captured that knowledge, mm -hmm. made it inferior, mm -hmm. and then trained you and me mm -hmm. to actually find value mm -hmm. in their own systems of how they treat diseases, killing the African traditional methods of, of, of treating people. Yes. So thousands of years later, you are coming back yes. to where we began. Mm -hmm. well, That's what it means. Absolutely. You are now coming back. Yes, I am coming back. In a, just not me. Maybe I mean, even think myself, maybe I start coming back late. When you, <laughs> you are late. At, yes, time. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. When I look at these numbers, which is 228 billion in just three years before I maybe make my <laughs> second visit, Uganda, mm. two, that's a huge amount of money. Yeah. Just imagine that 228 billion. You know, you're right. Um, the when the invader. And the, by the way, I know that I know the white man. It could even be more than this. Yes. This is what he's telling you. Oh, absolutely. This is what he's absolutely. telling you. Him. This is what they report because of the tax. Uh, and he's telling you out of difficulty because he doesn't want to show that actually the African medicinal plants or the traditional medicine is more superior 
than the one they are manufacturing from the from the libraries from from their laboratories so even this if you are able to find counter information you might find that it's actually more well absolutely so what you know when it comes to natural product mm. they cannot manufacture it this is the beauty of it of course. but now they have to plant it and grow it in a large scale thing mm. but still they cannot match our quality here because here is a natural thing this is natural, this is what natural. and when you come to the white man i don't call it white man i call the colonizer the colonizer, colonizer. When they come and uh, took our uh, our people mm. enslaved them mm. and they come here took our land and dictate what kind of crop that you should grow okay so they use i would get rid of our native african plant Yes. Which we use either yes. our food or yes. our medicine yes. to replace it with the crop that they do it commercially. G uh, GMO. Yes. They well, have they have interfered mm -hmm. with its genetics. Genetically modified. Yes. Now they tell you mm -hmm. this is what is marketable now. Yes. I will give you an example. When you look at the tomatoes nowadays, it's bigger. Yes. So watery but tasteless. Now what the white man comes and says is that this one, the one I have brought you, the seed I have brought you is more marketable mm -hmm. more valuable than your indigenous one the katunkuma the small one you're so right so for example when i go to the market you see tomatoes all one shape one size and that is not natural because when god has created everything they give them different shape different color different size right even if one even a human you are taller than me, shorter than me, and he's tall. This is the way it is, right? Mm. It, even for fruits as well, and even the food. Mm. That's the way. But when they mechanize it, they engineer it, they change its nature, so they, work it, they want it to be looking all the same. Mm. And now they convinced us this is the good one mm. because of the commercializing things, the marketing reason they do. Mm. So when you put our They nature, make sure they commercialize theirs and yeah. find market for it and kill your market. Absolutely. You yours. Yes. Your indigenous one. Mm -hmm. They will make sure they kill the market mm -hmm. intentionally. Yeah. Then they raise the market for the one that they want you to adopt. Absolutely. So when I one day I went, went, went when I went to a market to buy this fruit, uh, and it was all the same size, the same color, the same shape, everything. Mm. Yes. Because it's modified genetically, mm. right? Mm. So I said, wait a minute. That doesn't look like natural. We say, well, do you mean the dirty fruit? The dirty fruit is what we mean by ours, the one that is smaller, the one that has some uh, scratches, and that was a natural thing. Yes. And so they made people think that is all dirty, don't even come close to it. Mm. And that's how they slander our own product. Mm. And we need, do you, you understand me? Mm. See, the, the, if you took a fruit, it's a natural fruit, mm. they tell you, oh, this is a dirty fruit because it does not look well. Mm. It's not similar it's not homogeneous mm. for marketing purposes mm. and we still follow them mm. which is wrong mm. so now in your world uh, dr abdallah mm -hmm. in america for um about 25 years that's correct you and your your colleagues the the africans who are there mm -hmm. but you have this knowledge what are you doing to change this trend well see it cannot be just one man one man show yes what you're doing to try to raise awareness mm. and what i'm trying to look and see is one of an effort that has to be conducted by so many part of african government local uh, communities uh, academics universities and uh, colleges and all institutions have to work together and organize the literature is there the information is there they bring you as a scientist to, for example, McCrary University, mm. and you do research on medicinal plant. You, we don't have a lack of information. Mm. We do know the information, but we do have the lack of courage to make that reality, to realize that potential in the real world. You know what I mean? Yeah. So instead of only one, you know, one uh, natural healer in this village, uh, he does grow a few plants and somebody does uh, another way in a different plant in a different village that is not going to be enough and that's not going to compete mm. what we do is we have to have collective effort whatever research is done by our universities mm. and institutions has to be put in practice we mm. cannot just put it on books 
And oh, you go read. I can just you can Google now. Mm. Any medicinal plant uh, studies in Africa, you will find it there. But you do not have any business to make that reality. You don't have anything to coordinate those small market, uh, small farmers mm. to tell them, okay, forget about the one that they tell us to grow, like a uh, sugar cane. That's a uh, the uh, colonizer brought to us. It's forget about cotton that they want us to produce for them and take it. Let us think about what our ancestors about maybe a thousand years ago provide for humanity and let us go back and do it even in a commercial way present it in an elegant way to the, to the world and mm. it'll be acceptable mm. Mm. I, 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 I get you um, you know something back I went to the village to see my mom yes sir I, I found that uh, the tradition of bananas uh -huh. that I grew up eating yeah. those Americans through our own government uh, programs mm -hmm. and the structures, mm -hmm. there is here there is a, an agency of the government called NADS. Yes, which eh? is uh -huh. NADS is a National Agricultural Research Organization. Okay. So those Americans, mm -hmm. after using GM uh, genetically modified organisms, organisms uh -huh. system, yes, they came and manufactured a banana. Then they came through that through the system of government mm. and started distributing them to the entire population yes. down to the country there, yes. countryside. So this banana, when you plant it, Again, uh -huh. it will kill all other bananas around yes. it. But there is one defense they give you. Uh -huh. When you look at it, it is so huge. You know, it yes. is so huge. Yes, not natural. It, it's not natural. Yes. yes. It is, it is more assured uh -huh. than the natural one. Absolutely. So that is the defense they tell you. They say, if you want to fight poverty, mm -hmm. grow this banana. Uh -huh. Because the other natural one, first of all, it is small. Mm -hmm. Then they also create market, yes. an artificial market for it yes. for some time. Uh -huh. So when I went to my mother, I found that they had even forced them to mm -hmm. plant them. Mm -hmm. they, by force, government mm -hmm. forcing them. Uh -huh. So what I did, I put it down. Then my mother said, the authorities are going to charge you. I said, when they come here, mm -hmm. tell them, it is not you, my mother, yes. who cut it out. It is me. Yeah. It is me who cut it out. Uh -huh. So that's how I managed, uh, I, I managed to replant yes. back the, 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 the indigenous bananas. Mm -hmm. But the system has been actually done through our own government systems, mm -hmm. and it has gone to the last person. The fight. Right now, mm -hmm. against African rise to the top by the, by, by the Western people, mm -hmm. is no longer the physical fighting or the gun. Yes. Well, now it is biological war. They will pass through your food to actually mm -hmm. bring you down through your food. Mm -hmm. And so I, I like it when the likes of you are in America Trying to say, no, we are going back to a, a traditional medicinal kind of system of treating our people, yes. our, our, our traditional foods and so on. That's what actually, for me, raises the, 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 the importance of speaking to our people globally. Absolutely. Yes. So to raise awareness about, it was not just like... Uh, um, <laughs> It's a moral uh, it's a moral obligation. Uh, obligation. Yes. It, was just, it was also a huge opportunity. Yes. If we're talking about a business perspective, mm. as a business part of it, mm. just forget about that moral, mm. which is supposed to be a moral commitment to your homeland. Mm. This is not about it. That's, I mean, mm. That means you have to give in. Mm. But now you are getting in. You, the world have become so aware mm. of what is needed in the natural things. Mm. That natural thing can only be produced in Africa in abundance. Mm. So it is an opportunity for them, the one that who created uh, capital, mm. to come back. Is it your coffee? Okay, co thank you. Coming down? Yes, sir. Mm. 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 Yes, sir. So it's, it's an embark upon them to come and look at how to get that potential, how to realize that potential, mm. helping themselves and help this small farmer and this small uh, herder and everybody else. Mm. And that will, we grow. Mm. That's my point. Mm. So how are you 
managing the networks of these small groupings in the world that are doing everything possible to promote the medicinal um, um, kind of... Uh, well, I get your point. I am like a solo person, independent mm -hmm. one. When I've seen all this potential, I know there's so many research, so this, this is a huge uh, uh, weight that will be taken on everybody's back. If, if you need an information about how to get, uh, what is, what can you grow in, in, in Africa as a herbal product? What is its value? It's all there. You go to any university in Kambala, in Kenya, in Sudan, in Nigeria, or all over Africa, you find this literature. I mean, books after books. But how to make that happen? How to realize that? I went to India, and you see that Indians government has realized this so early and they start producing. If you go to Kamala here, the shop, you find herbal product is coming from India, India yes. from Himalaya. Yeah. That's a huge business. Mm. Why can't we do the same thing and go to do it even acre after an acre? Do not even require more than production of one acre per per uh, individual, mm. not more than an, uh, maybe half an acre per family, show them how to produce it, uh, teach them when to collect it, have a big organization or cooperation to collect it from them, uh, prepare it for them for a market, and sell it to them and give them their proceeds. That's the way it should be. And that one that's, and that cannot be done by one individual. Yeah, I may invest. I can benefit from that, but if the government wanted to realize this potential for governments of Africa, mm. they have all have to work together and put all what they have in research mm. into practice. Okay. So, so I am, you are currently in Africa. Yes. What are you trying to put up in Africa in regards to that calling? Well, are you on a study tour? Are you already putting up something? Are you coming back to Africa from the from US? When you are coming back, what are you coming to do? Well, I already made my mind to make uh, this my home to retire, Africa, and mm. Uganda will be the most the biggest choice because I already started my uh, company to do exactly what I told you to do. I'm, I'm thinking of now mm. to make that reality one day. Mm. I hope that'll be so soon. Mm. So, yes. I am coming and I wanted to do in this in ag, um, herbal products mm. in, 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 in a such a way to become reality, every small independent farmer mm. can benefit from it. Yeah, I can start one acre after another, but eventually someone else will carry the message and that mm. will become reality. Mm. And one day, uh, if the uh, Middle Eastern countries reputation was producing oil, Africa should uh, reputation should be producing medicine and natural medicine and food for the world that's my point you see that i get it um dr yeah. abdallah <clears throat> what are those could you name for us some of those plants that um are medicinal in nature uh those simple plants that we see but we don't know that actually you are bypassing a medicine could we do you can you have a mention of some of them and what they treat well i mean there's so many plants that in africa the wild plant so far they can be collected by this local herbalist people the local medicinal healers but let me give you one example for example the so-called artemisia artemisia which is the african warm wood it's called african warm wood it grows in Africa, especially in, in, in Uganda, mm. which is a favorable condition for that. Mm. That wormwood is, you know, if you heard about from Artemisia, this now, if you have malaria today, mm. you go and go, they write you all, your malaria is resistant to chloroquine, for example. Mm. But we're going to give you an injection called Artemisine. Mm. That is extracted from that plant. Hey. Yeah. That is what it is. And in my thought is in sudan i mean south sudan and uganda there's a swamp mm. that swamp grows a uh, plant look like palm tree mm. it's called so palmetto mm. that so palmetto it has just like unripe dates plant on it mm. the so palmetto is good for main prostate 
men, Na, yeah, men ma- male, male prostate male issues. Prostate yeah, for, issues. now every man was fifty prostate plus. Mm. Yeah, they have no, no prostate enlargement. Mm. So every man fifty plus will have an issue with his prostate enlarged and then block the pathway of the urine, and he has difficulties. Mm. Now, our assistant used to go put that in in water and then drink it in the morning, and that will help enlarge. I mean, uh, to control reduce, that. absolutely yeah. reduce that. Mm. Uh, uh, so that so palmetto is now in the market. If you go to Amazon market, for example, mm. you find so palmetto, which you can grow here in the swamp from uh, from Uganda to South Sudan, to South Sudan, and that can bring alternate uh, medicine, which is real medicine. Now it is used. This is not. You don't have to experiment it. It is available, and you can use that as one of the available medicine. Is just produce it and put it in the capsule or the shell and mm-hmm. give it to people to use it. Mm-hmm. That's good for man. Mm-hmm. And, and, and and I go so on. Even hibiscus. I don't know if Uganda grow hibiscus yeah. or not. I, I don't I'm not sure we grow it but I see it. Yes. I see I yeah. see it on the on, on in supermarkets. Yes. I don't know whether we actually plant it here uh-huh. or we buy it. I don't know. And and, and 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 also I have a, a the vision of okay well people say make that's just not my vision. I, I, I believe in that one. Make food your medicine not medicine your food right so hey when you make come, food your medicine yes not medicine your, your food. food okay you know what i mean so if you if you write the, if you eat the right thing not the manufactured thing that is your medicine to prevent you from having disease become sick so that you all you take a lot of medicine yes see what i mean so yes. make food your medicine not medicine you food. By saying that, now if you hear, uh, you hear about uh, that plant, uh, that fruit called um, avocado mm. has. Mm. Uganda is one of the places. Avocado has. Has avocado. avocado. Has. Yes, has mm. avocado. Avocado mm. has. Mm. Okay, that kind of food, people need it to keep themselves healthy. So that is kind of preventative food mm. that people will need. Mm. So that is also I'm interested in doing. Mm. Uh, in general, in Africa, for example, this call this uh, uh, a tree called acacia, acacia, acacia plant. Mm. That is uh, which is hashaba we call it in, in Sudan. That produces hashaba. Yes, mm. that is th- that plant is only specialized in producing that exudate, the gum, in the so-called gum Arabic belt, which mm. is in Africa between Eritrea. And Sudan and South Sudan and all the Senegal. Mm. That one, they use it for every pharmaceutical company for medicine. And it is used for food. So any soft beverage like Coca Cola, it cannot be realized unless you use that plant. Oh. So that was food and medicine as well. Oh. And that can only be produced in Africa, nowhere else. You can take the tree, you plant it anywhere else. It will not it grow. Will ne- it will grow, but it will never bring that exudate, the gummy thing. Okay. Yes. So this, this can you see? It is it? only in Africa. You can it's plant. only in Africa. It's only in so, Africa. So it means Africa is endowed, yep, is yes. blessed. In, yes. But we don't know. Yes, we, we do know. We do know. If we know, why are we not practicing and taking okay. advantage of what we are um, blessed with? Now that brings me to the colonization of the mind. Our colonization mind, of the mind. Our mind. Our mind is colonized. We don't believe in ourselves. We have. Who some colonized us? Uh, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Are we aware that we are colonized? Uh, we do need, we, maybe you are aware, I am aware, he's aware, but we do need awareness about, hey, look, our mind has been colonized, just like being virally infected, and we do need to reprogram ourselves. Mm-hmm. Think better, mm-hmm. realize our own potential, mm-hmm. and by doing so, we have to first to believe in ourselves, and we have to rethink our self. Mm-hmm. Why not, Doctor? The way you're talking, it shows that um, an African was knowledgeable enough, even before the white man came to colonize him. Uh, what happened? How can this naturally gifted African, knowledgeable man, even after colonization, in Uganda now it's about 60 years after, how come you still see some, you know, some areas where you feel, I think this one is doing this because of their mindset, yes. being colonized. Don't we have the capacity to 
decolonize our mindsets? Well, how can we allow to be arrested for all these years in terms of thinking? If a, if a white man built a system up to now, he left Africa, Uganda particularly, 62 years ago, he left a system that continues to serve his interest. Mm -hmm. And right now it is the African using that same system to actually serve the interests of the white man who left 62 years ago. Mm -hmm. Do we still continue to say the problem is the white man or it is myself? Oh, the problem is ourselves. Uh, the, the, the problem is ourselves. Yeah. Well, number, if we do not believe in ourselves, we do, oh, number one, we have to realize that we have a problem, right? Yeah. Okay. And the problem is there. You already said it. Yeah. Now, we have to believe in ourselves. If my ancestor was taken in a chain, mm. forcefully, Very, mm. they, nobody... He did, had no choice. We had no choice. After some of them who failed to reach, they yes, were being killed. Absolutely. If, so you either had to be killed, Oh, you... Okay, if they went ahead and taught them all these things, mm. why can't we say, look, that belongs to us without no animosity to anybody, without no hate to anybody. Can we realize our own potential in our homeland, in our own homeland? Mm. Especially the world has become now so small. Today, my talk can, can go to maybe all 56 African countries. You, and then somebody is more knowledgeable than me can even be heard. Mm. Our leader, so many leaders in many, many fields mm. can speak and be heard. This is just 20 years ago, cannot be available. So we do have to use available tools to educate our people. Mm. We have the talent. Maybe we just don't have the exact form how to make that reality. This is my thought. The, 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 we have the talent. Mm. We don't have, we don't know maybe mm. the formula on how to Absolutely. employ that. Yes. Doctor, you, you are saying something interesting. Mm. The white man mm. did not necessarily live here because we overpowered him, probably. Yes. No, it is because he devised better means mm -hmm. of how he can continue managing us. Absolutely. In his absence, yeah. using you, you very own black yeah. man, yeah. to manipulate your fellow black man, yeah. to manipulate your African uh, 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 systems, mm -hmm. to adopt the white man's principles mm -hmm. and so on to serve his interest even when he is not here. That's why the other day, someone, I was asking someone, mm -hmm. somebody told me, mm -hmm. most of these African countries mm -hmm. that were colonized by Britain, mm -hmm. they still pay money mm -hmm. to England. It's a royalty fee. Yeah. I didn't even know that That's story. why you hear about Chogam. Chogam, mm -hmm. so Commonwealth. Yes. If you belong to the Commonwealth, mm -hmm. there is a price, there is, a, there is money. Mm -hmm that you're supposed, as a country, mm -hmm. you're supposed to pay to your master. Well, <laughs> I didn't even know the fact. But now, this money is being paid by an African president. You sign off money, African money. Mm -hmm. You sign it off and send it to your former colonizer. He's not here. Yeah. You are sending it to him. Oh, oh. This is as, true. As, as royalty fee. Like exactly, the royalty oh, fee. Royalty fee. Oh, Most uh, of the African countries. Actually, there is... There, there is um, I forget in the country, mm. there is a, a coup that happened recently, and this man cancelled out that oh, money. Oh, I know what it is. So, Gab Gabon. Yeah, so, so it's happening. Yes. Former, your former co uh, colonizer mm. left a system mm. that continues to charge you for belonging to him. Absolutely. Well, see, what makes them, that, that makes us, probably that's our problem. We have this complex. I, I, I usually call it the inferiority complex they make us feel inferior to them. So I was reading a book, I couldn't remember the author, but he was a black African-American teacher, wrote that book in 1932, it was called The Miseducation of Mis Niggers. Miseducation of, of Niggers. Niggers. I'm gonna send you a copy of that because I do love to send it. It's a small book, but that brings it to your I'm point. sure niggers, they mean the, the black, the black American. American. Yes, the black American, the miseducation. Yes. So they will... They miseducated them by, 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 by telling them the wrong thing. Yes, intentionally. Uh, yes, absolutely. They miseducate oh, absolutely. you. Absolutely. So they, they subdue them. To subdue them. Because it's, slavery is no longer there. It's not existing. But you have to use a soft way of controlling people. The same way. Manipulation. Manipulate them. The same way that we do not, we're not allowed to uh, process our food and add value to it, to send it to them. Our product, we send gum Arabic, which is only produced in Africa, to mm. send them. 
For example, this 80 uh, percent of that gum Arabic is produced in Sudan. Some of them in Chad, and some of them in Niger, and Nigeria, and Eritrea. But about 80 to 70 percent of that Arabic, we send it as a bulk to France. The, uh, France would have a company called Nexera. Mm. They process it and sell it for food. I mean, not food, food only for medicinal only. For medicine. America will buy 96 percent from that, from from uh, from France. From France. Oh, yes. Okay, but. If, if, for example, uh, uh, that French company bought it from Sudan and processed it for 150 million, they don't make just 1 billion out of it, which is about eight times. No, they make about 14 billion out of that. 14 billion? Yes. US dollar? Yes. You're giving it to yeah. France? And yes, another mm. example. Mm. So just, just, just imagine that. Mm. I get it. Yes, exactly. So until we educate ourselves, not to miseducate ourselves, and until we realize that we have to do better, and lead ourselves, our people, not to mislead them. Mm. So you know what I mean. Lead, not mislead. No mislead them. Yes. And lead, then, not mislead. Absolutely. Yes. And then until we unite all our people, not to divide them by any way or any rhetoric, mm. then we can never realize that potential. Yeah. Potential. You see my point. Because they do it intentionally. Yes. They put a curtain on your face uh -huh. and show you the best way to do things is this. But that that way they are showing you is to their advantage. Yeah. Yeah. It is to their advantage. Yeah, yes. go, on, go on. Well, you have to see, you know, see they programmed us in a such way that we have to see things with their lens, not with our own. Mm. So if I see this, yes, yeah, with their lens, yeah, yes. I'm calling. So you have they to have to borrow you their lens, absolutely, so yeah, that yeah. you see, see things the way them. they want you yeah, absolutely. Not to the see way them. I, yes. and, and, you, and you can mobilize the entire uh, continent, region by region. Yes. We'll see the East African. Uh, Thing, mm. what they call it, the, Af the East African countries together today. Um, when I said, well, Uganda, somebody tell me, oh, this is this advantage, don't go to Uganda. We say, why? He said, because Uganda is a landlocked country. I say, oh. Somebody told you not to come to yeah, Uganda. Yeah, yeah, advice, this is an advisor. Uh, he said, what is a land because it's landlocked? Landlock. I said, well, mom, when I look and I find out that was a land mm. link, uh, land, what link? So, oh, from there, I can send my stuff to Sudan. I can send it to Congo. I can send it to Kenya, Kenya Rwanda, I can, Rwanda, I can send Burundi, it to Chad. So Tanzania. I said, ma'am, this is a better opportunity I was looking for. I'm so, I'm glad this is a landlock. To me, it was land link. Land link, yeah. not a landlock. Yeah, horses. Yes. Because when you're in Uganda, you're Absolute, able to connect. connect all of them, mm. all four of them, all five of them, maybe. Yes. And you know what I mean? Mm. Yes, that's exactly. So it is not landlock. It is it's land link. link. Yes. <laughs>He's yes. leading uh, other people around the world. He lives in America, yeah. but he's leading he's, he's leading other people around the world, mobilizing them around traditional medicine. Huh? Mm -hmm. People have been extracting our own African medicine, mm -hmm. taking them there in Europe, pack them, bring them back, uh, and they call it their medicine. Mm -hmm. You get it? Yes. So he is assignment actually he's 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 buying land here in uganda uganda here he wants over Best 100 land. acres of land to plant medicinal plants here and start extracting a medicine and give it to africans so that's why you found us actually and he was giving an uh, interesting revelations about uh, the history of uh, the medicinal plants mm. Oh, nice meeting you, sir. Nice to meet you again. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you see, Africa needs uh, what we want right now because many empires are corrupting. What Africa needs right now is to have useful researchers, scientists, 
manufacturing. Uh, just of late, I was told that uh, the World Health Organization, in partnership with the pharmaceutical companies in North America and, and Europe, they are funding the conservation of of, of, of of trees in Africa. African indigenous trees. Yes. You need to say that. Yes. And the reason why they are funding the indigenous African trees is because it's their source of research for medicine. Ah. And it's also their source of medicine. Ah. So when you hear some people giving you money for conservation mm. climate change for them they, they say it's climate change hey. but at the back hey. they actually uh conserving uh trees for business for, purposes for plant, indigenous plants because what they get from us mm. we give them raw materials mm. take them then we start importing Mm. drugs that have been extracted from our own trees mm. so that's where now the the, 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 the problem is mm. and uh, I want to tell the world mm. that uh, the moment Africa opens its eyes you mean uh, we are we are we are sleeping many now? people are sleeping hey yes the moment we stop the moment Africa will stop exporting raw materials, the moment Africa will stop giving free products from us to Europe and, and, and USA, mm. I'm telling you, America and Europe will collapse. Hey. Yes. What? So they are there because of us. They we are, are holding they, them. Yes, because everything is got from here. Yeah. And uh, of recently, there is an evidence when Total, uh, in partnership with the East African Oil Company, Company, mm -hmm. started that huge project. Pipeline. Yes. 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 Why are you refining your own oil? Hey. You can imagine. <laughs> People are not afraid. Hey. That you have not reached at the level of refining your oil. Hey. <laughs> when I start it, is, uh, I am offending you. That no, no, no. You see, yes. when we, mm. as Ugandan, started refining our oil, we are offending France. Yes. These mm. yes. They, they even feel annoyed. Yes, they mm. Now they, they looked for an excuse. Yes. They said, but those people along with the pipeline, you have not compensated them. Are they your brothers? <laughs> when there was not even a single complaint. Are they your brothers? <laughs> and then they created, Do you love them more than I do? They, well, they these are my brothers some, and sisters. They started creating some cases hey. that we do not fulfill climate the, change. the international standards of climate hey. change, whatever assessment impact. <clears throat> and what I want to tell you, for a long time, Africans have been sleeping. Mm. I've been sleeping. Mm. If you look at tons and tons of, of minerals, mm. low materials mm. from Africa mm. that are being taken. Mm. Just of recently, I, I was amazed when our head of state here mm. made a revolution when he was uh, addressing now. Mm. He said, and I got to me even recently, mm. The World Bank has a fund mm. in form in form of debt mm. to give to to borrow you money mm. so that you can import certain things from US and Europe from them. Yeah. Fund for importation. Yeah, as, as, as finished project. No, yeah, yes, they, they, they want you. They give they you want, sixty billions. They give you. you they give you money in their country with a loan so that you can import more things from Europe. The they producers. cannot give you money mm -hmm. for export. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. cannot give you money for manufacturing. Mm -hmm. 
they want to give you money for mm. the importation of their products they cannot give you you give money. them mm. raw materials mm. then the raw materials when they are manufactured from their area mm. then they give you money on loan mm. to import those products yeah. <laughs> to your point after all they are doing uh-huh. they are giving you money uh-huh. to go and import what they collected yesterday from you as raw materials <laughs> now when they realize that you don't have capacity to buy from them they borrow you yeah <laughs> they borrow you yes. to buy from them yes the money so remains buy. with them yes so here when you say I, I i would have loved to buy panado but i don't have money but the white man has the panado yes. and he knows that he gets it from uh, you they will borrow you so he says, oh, Kashaya, you don't have money to buy panado but me have it in america mm-hmm. okay let me borrow you one thousand shillings yeah one thousand dollars uh-huh. you, you buy it you will pay in, uh-huh. you will pay later uh-huh. When you reach in America, it is the same man who borrowed you here yeah. that you are buying from. from so it means, <laughs> yes. it means but, the man has remained. Yes. There's also something funny in that story. Uh, so, so me when uh, when uh, when I came, I, you know, I look at some cases here in Uganda of what's going on, you know, and I come into that Busoga forest. Yes. So I found it really uh, Mavira. interesting yeah, Mavira forest. Mavira forest. Uh, to see that we are getting the forest that side. Mm. So we actually can have uh, sugar cane yeah. that we export the sugar in other countries because yeah. here we have enough sugar with our capacity. Mm. Mm. And then we have doctors, right? African mm. doctors like you mm. that come to Uganda mm. to buy land so we can regrow mm. the tree that are just right now mm. being cut in, in Busoga for it. True. Yeah. And, and so, so you have a situations where basically capitalism have, have taken control. Mm. So he, he does what you explain with the panado and, and that, that financial system. But mm. in the same time, he destroy environment here. So mm. now you need their medicine. Mm. And who has the medicine? The pharmaceutical company. Yes. And what else? And who owns the pharmaceutical company? Them. The Them. global Beautiful. north, hey. for sure. And, 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 and more than you're who owns it? You're excluding yourself. No, no, we have Sanofi <laughs> in France. <laughs> and me, I wish I owned a pharmaceutical <laughs> company. <laughs> but more importantly than this, yeah. what they do is they do brevet. So they will come to Africa, find that tree, right? And then they will say, no, this molecule, only us can use it now. Because we are the only one that have the brevet on the molecule. So they will put some legal right on that molecule so that people that are actually using it in the very same country, yes, in petty. the very same yeah, country, so they can't right. use the molecule anymore. Yes. And so now when they use it, they have to pay royalties. They have to pay money to the pharmaceutical company. Mm. So you have a system of deprivation. It's capitalist deprivation. Capitalism will cut your tree and make sure that you have the pill to save yourself that it sells from you, right? But the very same pill, you didn't need it if you still had your tree. Because I'm speaking of tree to simplify, but the reality is the forest is a pharmacy. The forest has been the pharmacy of the people yes. for the longest time. And so when you see that they cut and destroy forest, what you should see is all the molecule and natural element that humans, and especially here in this country, Ugandans, have known how to use for generation after generation that keep them out of sickness. But now what do we have? We have only sickness that can be sorted out by pharmaceutical medicine that are coming from the global market. Actually, uh, actually, Mr. Mdati, uh, to, uh, to add on what you are saying, um, just recently, during the COVID time, classic example, we had the professor here. Uh, mm. who, professor, uh, yes, and is it a, this professor from Mbarara University, mm. He he, he 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 discovered the medicine for Corona, Covidex, mm. Mm. Covidex, mm. and uh, many many patients actually who were suffering from from Corona mm. uh, got toward others from our natural hub, mm. our Correct. natural hub, mm. and this professor corrected mm. natural hub. Mm and maybe you know by the time they wanted to legalize it and 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 be used in hospitals mm. the world health organization ah we need to look at the standards mm. yeah the standards that's what they will come which to standards yep. when in the, the standards. hospitals where he was in Geneva, people were dying mm. and because here we are chewing people mm. But still, he was insisting. Yeah, and that's that's what everyone is they, made the, they made a system. <laughs> yes. They made a system mm. under World Health Organization that you, Dr. Abdal, if you're in Africa here or anywhere in the world, you, man, you, you invent a medicine. It is them to approve, to approve it. Yes. To approve mm. it. 
But remember, when you make it like COVID next year, mm. when you make it and it is working, it means you are eating into their market. Yes. So, yes. do you think they are going to allow you to approve yeah. it? They will not allow well, So that you eat into their market? Well, well, let me go back to his point to begin with, when he said, well, if we did this and this, uh, uh, the West would bankrupt. But he forgot to mention one thing. If Africa wanted to bankrupt many companies for the good of humanity, they should give up fighting and make gun sale in Africa obsolete. This is number one. Number two. Huh? I don't get that one. Okay. We should not sell weapons in Africa. Selling of weapons mm. in Africa and, and helping us. African should not buy. Uh, yes, and helping us oh. fight each other. Okay. Rebellions. Mm. That if we, if we keep doing that, you know, all all uh, weapon companies are publicly traded companies. Their primary market is in Africa. As the primary market is yeah. in Africa. Okay, get that point. Okay. Go to the next okay. point. Mm. The other thing is, mm. if we did not look at the history. Why sugar cane and when was planted? Yeah. When cotton was brought up here? Yes. And what was planted here before that? Amen. Mm. If we did not look at this, then we still keep having that. He mentioned research. <coughs> research out there. So many research and on the shelf. If we use one percent of this research in, the in African universities into practice. Africa will realize its potential. So the problem is not, we do not need no research. We just need to take some of the research off the shelf and do it practical. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. And on that point, I thank you so much, uh, you. Dr. Abdallah. Adam, thank you, Abdallah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Dr. Abdallah yes. from Sudan, but living in South Africa. Yes, I'm a Sudanese American, yes. In America. Yes, sir. For the last 25 years, you've been in America. Absolutely. It's been a great pleasure meeting you here in pleasure. Uganda for the, for the very first time. I'm so delighted. And I hope we shall continue this conversation. Yes, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Andrew Irumba Katsave, and this is the Pan African Period Show. And this is the Free Your Mind Lecture Session. I thank you and thank sign you. up. Thank you. Free your mind now. Be part of People's Pan-African Parliament, the Pan-African Pyramid Debate with your speaker, Andrew Irumba.